Mayo Clinic is threatening to pull billions of dollars out of Minnesota if the legislature passes a bill impacting hospital staffing. It is sparking a divide between nurses and Democrats and the top-ranked hospital in the world. Caroline Cummings reports. We invest in Minnesotans. Nurses at the Capitol Monday say they were blindsided when they learned of an ultimatum from the Mayo Clinic to the legislature. Reject or make big changes to two proposals or it'll put billions of dollars somewhere else. It is completely unethical for Mayo, a nonprofit corporation, to attempt to override democracy and disrupt the legislative process at the last minute with what are essentially blackmail tactics. At issue, a proposed health care affordability board designed to protect consumers from unaffordable health care costs. And the Keeping Nurses at the Bedside Act, designed to keep nurses from leaving the profession by creating committees where they can weigh in on staffing levels. Staffing was a sticking point, driving thousands of nurses to the picket line last fall. Mayo Clinic wants an exemption to the proposed requirements. When we mention that our nurses feel unsafe at times, I feel that it falls on deaf ears. The Rochester based healthcare giant said its planned investments in the state are four times as big as the investment in U.S. Bank Stadium, which had a price tag of $1.1 billion. But now that's on hold as bills are still up for consideration at the Capitol. Mayo writing in a statement about the bill, quote, we believe it will negatively impact access to care and our ability to transform health care to support our staff and meet the evolving needs of our patients. Nurses in the bill's authors say that Mayo's requests are a non-starter. And they cannot include the language that Mayo Clinic has proposed that would gut this bill. Caroline Cummings, WCCO News. Mayo responded to today's press conference saying it quote, remains committed to engaging with policymakers and other partners on legislation that will be in the best interest of patients, staff, the state, and Mayo Clinic.